All right, so I am so excited to finally share our master bedroom renovation, makeover, tour, plus Hobby's in-home office. So it's behind this door, so let's do this. So the first thing you notice when you step into our master bedroom are these beautiful barn doors. They are 84 inches tall and I'm obsessed. I was not expecting them to just look this beautiful. They really make the hallway entrance to our master bedroom feel so grand. So we went with a matte black finish on the hardware and this is all by National Hardware. So it's just very clean, very classic, but modern at the same time. We went with this modern pool handle. This is the Madison pool handle. Um, and it just, they're big, they're huge. I just love that they, again, just make this room feel so grand um, and it's so easy. A plus with getting barn doors is that you don't have, it like eliminates having a door coming out or a door going in. So now you have so much space. So these barn doors really just create tons of space. Okay, so I really love how these just make the room feel so grand and so big. So when you come down the hallway, we have a long hallway. There is four steps. So we added laminate flooring throughout the entire room. We used to have carpet and it just really makes the room feel grand. So once you come down the four steps, it leads you into our actual room um, where we have like our bed. And my vibe is always very classic, timeless. I love, you know, a good timeless piece, but I want it to feel very cool and warm in here. So I, you know, gives it like a serene feel. So in order to create that very serene, calming feel, I went with um, all neutral colors. So our um, bed is just, you know, white with the um, linen headboard. And to bring in like wood elements, our dressers are obviously a tan wood with a black um, classic candle. So we have black accent throughout the entire room. I really feel that it just gives it somewhat of a grand feeling, like black is like a nice accent. Um, and then I love a good hotel bed that like feels just amazing. You know, when you have like a long day, you just wanna jump in a good bed. So our bed is huge, it's super high, and it really does give me that like hotel feel. Um, and then we have on this side, a nice bay window that um, we kind of just have like chairs. So if we wanna read a book, which I don't ever have time to read a book because I have two little ones. But if I ever get a minute to sit down, that's where I will be sitting. And then um, on this side, we have like these awkward windows throughout our entire home actually. But in our room, we have just like these awkward windows and I'm like, what should I do with these windows? So at this point, if you guys have any recommendations, then please let me know down in the comments because I would love to do something with them. And then over here, I have a um, floor length mirror. And my thought process was this is where I would be shooting my looks. However, Javi is in here and this is where he also has his office. So that leads us to Javi's in-home office. So when creating a space for an in-home office, I know tons of people are working um, at home right now. Um, I suggest finding an empty wall anywhere in your house, preferably maybe in a room, so that way you can close the door if you have meetings and calls. Um, so we had this empty wall here and I was like, this is the perfect, perfect place to put Javi's office. Now, um, I also recommend a lot of people, I know they tend to put the desk in front of the uh, wall so that it gives them more space out here. But for me, I prefer to like look at something versus looking at a wall. So I suggest if you guys have some space, then just bring out the desk a little bit more so the wall is behind you instead of you looking at the wall. Um, so we just did some really nice abstract art and an olive tree because we wanted to keep it very 
clean and simple, timeless. You know, Javi does tons of calls and meetings and he's always on um, Zoom and so he likes that it's just very clean and simple. Um, as far as a desk, you don't need anything big and bulky and huge. I mean, this literally just fits his laptop and some bills in the drawer and that's about it. Comfortable chair and then you're good to go. All right, so this light fixture, when I saw it, I was like, I need to have this. And Javi is just, at this point, he's like so over everything. He's like, okay, Roxy, just, just get it and I'm gonna just keep my mouth closed. So I am obsessed with it. It was just, it really grounds the entire room. Before it just felt like it was empty in here. Now it like anchors everything down and I'm obsessed. So I know I didn't share our restroom and my closet. So if you guys wanna check that out, then let me know down in the comments so we can put a video together for you guys. I think that's it. I don't have anything else to show you in here. So you guys just have to go get out because I need to get some sleep, you know? <laughs>